Hey, so welcome back. And this is another daily code problem. So today it was a dynamic programming one and it's called minimum insertion steps to make a string pound drone. And it's a harder level problem. And so what you're given here is a string S and it just has some number of characters. And so once again, you just want to determine what is the minimum, so it's a minimization problem of insertions. And assertion is just inserting any character at any index of the string in order to make it a palindrome. And a palindrome, well, this is an example right here because it takes zero insertions to do it. And that's when you read it forwards or if you read it backwards, it kind of reads it the same way. So it's like Z, Z, A, Z, Z. Or if you read it backwards, Z, Z, A, Z, Z, right? And so this one here, if you read it forwards and backwards, it reads differently as well. Although the first two letters here are kind of mirrored, the M and M, but then B and D don't match each other. And then A, so you would have to insert at least two letters to make it either of these cases here. Okay, and so let's go ahead and do this. So what I'm gonna give you is a top-down recursive solution, and it will be O of N like squared time, um, like uh, that. And then also the same thing for space because it's going to be top down. And so the recursive stack is going to take the same number of space. You can do it like a bottom up approach with the space optimization. So it's only O of N time. Um, but for me, this one was a lot more intuitive. Um, and I'm just kind of simply practicing top down minimization for now. Um, and then when I get better, I'll move on to the, the bottom up approaches. So yeah, so what we're going to do is define a uh, function called dp and we're going to have a left and right pointer and that's going to just imitate us having a two pointer technique one starting on the far left and one starting on the far right okay and so we're going to want to return the result of this recursive function and starting at index zero and then the end of this string here great and so we want to cache this result, and that's the minimization part, so that we can get the result of this dynamic programming problem if we already solved it before in O of one time. And so we have our base case here, base case, and then we have two other cases that we want to consider, case one and case two. And so the base case is okay. We know that we finished processing this and we're going to have these two pointers kind of move inwards when the left pointer hops over the right pointer and the left pointer is now like larger than the right pointer. So to do that, all we have to say is, okay, if the left pointer is greater than or equal to the right pointer, then let's just return zero in this case, because naturally this doesn't count as an insertion step as you've finished. And so, then from here, what we're going to do is say, okay, if our, um, let's see here, if we want to bring it inwards, so there's two cases where the left and right pointers have the same value, or if they don't. So case one is if S at L, like the letter at index, at the left index is equal to the um, letter at the right index. So if left and right pointers share the same letter, I think have the same letter is a better word for it. So S at L is equal to S at R. And so in this case, we just want to return the result of a, another recursive call, but we're just going to bring these inwards. And that's because if they're the same, then we don't have to make any insertion step because the letters match. And we can just say, okay, why don't we just continue going inwards because we don't need to consider um, any insertions at this step, right? And so let's just go ahead and increment the left pointer by one and then decrement the right pointer because the right pointer is going inwards. All right, and so that just says, okay, let's continue on. We don't need to add anything because they're the same letter. Otherwise, we know that they're not the same letter. And so I guess this is like an else if case to this if. 
Um, but typically I like the base case as an if and then these two cases as if and else if. So case two is if left and right pointers don't point to the same letter, don't have the same letter. Okay, and so in that case, this is otherwise we want to return one plus, and we're adding one in this case because we want to consider that we're actually inserting at this step. So one of these letters, like we need to add an extra letter in order to make it symmetrical, in order to mirror it, right? And so that's this case where you can see here, because we have this extra D, we need to insert a letter D on the left side here, right before this B. Or we could put the, the letter D um, after the B if you wanted. But yeah, so in that case, let's just add one here. And then we want to return the minimum, because it's a minimization problem, of two recursive calls. The first one is a call with incrementing the left pointer inwards one step and keeping the right pointer the same. And then we can do the opposite where we keep the left pointer the same and we decrement our right pointer. Let's go ahead and run that and accepted. So just to reiterate what this all does is we are starting with the left pointer at the beginning of the string, the right pointer at the end of the string. If they kind of cross each other, that means that we finish processing the whole string and we could just return zero because we didn't have to insert anything at that step. If they're the same, then let's just bring those pointers in. We don't need to add anything because we haven't needed to insert, they're symmetrical. Otherwise, if they're not symmetrical, we need to add some extra letter. We just add one, we don't have to insert or anything, we just need to increment the number of insertions that we had to do. And then because there's two possible paths that we can go down, we, can, we want to take the minimum of those two paths, which is incrementing the left pointer by one or decrementing the right pointer by one. And that's the solution. So yeah, I hope that explanation helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.